Welcome everybody to a very historical day. And you're going to find out in just a moment why I say that, because we have Tom Morey on the line who's going to teach us his UNS, Universal Numbering System, which is going to change the world. And welcome, Tom. First of all, let me say hi to you. Well, thank you, Patty. Very nice to hear your voice. Well, that nice to hear your voice, too. And so we also have, if you're watching today, we have uh, Tom's oldest son, Sol Mori. Welcome. Hello, to uh, thank you very much. Pleasure to be here. Hey there. Good morning, my dear son. Good morning, Pops. And he's coming in from Maui, Hawaii. So welcome, welcome, wow. welcome. Different time zone. And now we have Action Jackson going to take the class today. Steve's in New Jersey. So welcome, Steve. Thanks for having me, Tom. Good morning. It's a pleasure to be here. I look forward to hearing what you're about to teach us. Yep. Hello there, Steve. Nice to hear your voice. Yep. So this is going to be historical. We have people joining us already. So thank you all for joining us. If you want to make a comment, you can go over to the comment bar and you will come in as a Facebook user unless you signed up as, as a um, StreamYard user. And they're not going to send you any promotional stuff. But if you want us to see your name, maybe put the ticker across the top when Tom's speaking, that'll be great. So that's basically what we're gonna to do today. And so we're gonna jump right in and first ask Tom, what is the universal numbering system? Can you tell us that and what the purpose and how it came about and all that? I will try. Okay. Patty, uh, the, the world as you know is uh, full of uh, miscommunication because there's uh, hundreds of languages, the scores of languages and hundreds of dialect problems and number systems are not much different. There's there's dozens of different number systems and you've seen some of them, the English version of the Latin version of the, and then you see the Roman numerals, which are distinctly different and then the ones that are in mm -hmm. the Asian countries are kind of like sideways to the other ones in the European countries. So. Uh, I was a math major and I was always confounded basically why just with arithmetic, you know. And uh, as an elementary school kid, I make a three, and the grammar school teacher teaches me, no, my three is backwards and it's got to be the other way, and my four is backwards. And, and I'm also told that my M is something looks like a three, and you know, all this kind of stuff that a child, a little child has to go through in order to get to arithmetic even. So I took her upon myself to try and figure out if there are, if there is a better way to depict numbers and in fact is there a better way to depict letters, our letters of the alphabet or any of the other letters. We're told this alphabet is capitals and the other one is uh, lowercase and that these are, these are words, these are letters and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to jump right to the letters, I mean the, uh, the, the numbers. Instead of, and I'm, and this is casual, I, I, this is just off the cuff, but instead of uh, having to think in order to do simple arithmetic, think about having 10 symbols, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and the combinations of them, a 1 and a 0 in the second column, 10, a 1 and a 1 in the second column, 11, and so forth, and all the way up through millions and billions with all these different columns. Let's just start with the simplest possible stuff. And the simplest possible stuff is that you uh, put a dot on the paper someplace and uh, you are going to write your your numbers to one side or to the other side. We can write it above and below, but let's just talk in terms of side to side. We put a dot down and uh, to the we're going to just talk about to the left of the dot for whole numbers and not decimals. To the left of the dot, you can put the symbol.
symbol that we use for one or for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero, we can use these ten symbols, but I'd like to boil it down to just a few. And the few are that for the notion of zero, for the notion of nothingness, we draw a simple upside down curve, not a not a big wide curve, just the width of a normal letter uh, of the alphabet. Just a small upside down curve. It doesn't have to be half a curve. It's just a piece of the curve. As in, if you have, hold your hand uh, up with the palm up as though you had a jewel in there or a silver dolly, dollar, and there's something in there and then you put your hand upside down and it dumps out, it's empty. That is a great symbol for the notion of emptiness, nothingness. That's an important, extremely important symbol to have in a number system. Is anybody there? Yes, everybody's here. Okay, I'll continue. <laughs> I know we're being quiet. <laughs> <laughs> this is very good, thank yeah. you. So now we're going to have, we got our upside down curve for nothing. Now, the idea of one, of a simple, single thing, because everything is all interconnected, uh, we can go into the philosophy of there being anything that is separate from something else, and that all gets too hairy to talk about, and we're going to just skip that. So. The next symbol that we're going to use is a simple straight line. And we're only going to use a few symbols. We've got the upside down curve for nothing. And we have a simple straight up and down line for the idea of one. It, it doesn't have to be straight up and down because it can never be. But just sort of casually, if you make a mark, like Patty, if you call off how many of there are, Every time you see one, and I write them down, I'm going to end up making you go. You're going to say now, or to this here, 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 or now, or something like that. And I'm going to make a mark. And I'm lazy. I'm going to make the simplest mark I can make, the simplest mark that is significant, not a little teeny dot that I can cannot find later, but just a significant mark that kind of goes pretty much straight up and down. That is one. That's one because we're defined because I'm defining it as one, and because of what I've just said, it's simple, and um, and so forth. The next symbol we're going to use is we're going to we're going to use a circle. We're going to use a circle that's uh, pretty big. I'm just going to say that much about it, and we're going to draw our circle starting at the top and come around through the bottom and up again to the top. And we're going to call that five. We're not going to call that zero anymore. Zero means nothing. And the upside down curve is what we're going to use to depict that there's nothing there. It's been dumped out. That's the symbol for nothing is the upside down small curve. And the the number for the symbol for five is a full circle. So we have a zero, we have a one, and we have a five. Well, guess what? We're pretty much done. Because with those three symbols and the dot, we can write every number in the universe. Here's how, here's how we do it. We're going to skip two, three, and four for a minute. We're going to go zero and then one, and then five. And we're going to skip now to six. And we skip two, three, and four. We're going to skip to six. To make a six, you draw your zero from the top around and up to the top again. And you, you uh, then come down about halfway, like a clock, like the hands of the clock, 
you draw all the way up to the top and then dry, draw the hand down to the middle. So you got zero, one, six. You got five is just a circle, and six is a circle with a line down it that goes down to the middle. For seven, you draw two lines. You come all the way around and up to the top and down to the middle, and then you casually dash off to your right with your pen, your pencil, your crayon, and you come off to the periphery of these of this clock and you stop exactly right there or you stop short of it or you go beyond it because you can't stop that, that easy doesn't make any difference if it's got that little v shape inside of a circle we're looking at a, a five with two in it and that's a seven i know i'm skipping around let's go to eight <laughs> You go around the circle, you come up to the top, you go down in the middle, you come off to your right, and you stop short of the outside, or you go beyond the outside, or you, or you stop right there, beyond or short, doesn't make any difference. You just go around and down, and then you come off to the right, and then you come down again, so you've got like a lightning bolt inside the circle. So you have a circle with a lightning bolt in it. That's five and three. For a seven, you got a circle with a little V in it. You got five and two. For a six, you come around and come down, and that's five and one, that's six. For a five, you just come around and stop. That's a circle. circle. Now we've covered everything except fourth, three, and two. And for two, you simply come down for a one and up at some angle, up as far as you want. So there's two of them. Now that's seven. For an eight, you come around and then you go down and up and down again like a lightning bolt in a circle. That's eight. And for a nine, the last one, you come around and down all the way to the bottom, and then you come all the way across in a new stroke from side to side, so that if you look at what you've got, you see you'll have four arms, and that's a nine. Now, that is basically enough symbols to combine to depict every number in the universe beautiful oh, dad okay so let me just Over. say uh, let me just bring in uh some comments here um number yeah. one is i have been showing uh one through ten as you were talking and so people could see you know uh, left to right one through four it, it's really kind of almost brilliant how each one has like for example, two is just two bars in a V comes down yeah. to make seven really easy. So as far as like the universe, you might say in, in learning this, um, it, it really says to everyone, um, this is easy. This doesn't have to be complicated. You don't need a PhD to do this. So thank you so much. And let's just get some commentary going here. So it sounded like you had something to say. I just wanted to express to dad that we were following him via one of his images of the numbers, something off of his iPad, so that um, visually we could all partake in it. But as always, dad is a visionary, does, does really well explaining things without having to have paper. Yeah, pen. absolutely. What about you, Steve? How did that go for you? Steve, Steve, um, Steve Daxon, how did that go for you? I think he buffered out there for a minute. Um, honestly, I, I think the numbering system is fascinating. Um, well, that is really a shame that you're not coming in. Um, stand by for just one moment.
um, it sounds like um, it it's like uh, rain. Uh, something. Let me let's read uh, Jonathan's comment here. Uh, it is it is the ruin in a way Viking style also conform text. Yes, <laughs> that that is a good that is a good um, analogy for sure. So um, let's let's review. Let's let's go back because uh, we we uh, did this an amazing amount of time. I thought I, I I mean I literally thought we were going to have you know like hours and hours on this, but it is so brilliant that. Um, we can even start using it now. And aren't you, uh, Saul, aren't you, uh, aren't you using it now on some uh, things that you're about to launch? Yeah, even now I have uh, a white hat on and I use my, my marker to, to draw the numbers on there. But in the, in the embroidery world, we have our logo coming out on some hats. And underneath we have, because of the celebration of the 50 year anniversary and using the Baha'i date, which is BE, the Baha'i era, we're now moving into 178. So I've kept the one, the okay. seven and the eight, and then BE next to it as a part of the underside of our logo so that people will in the future or now be able to reference uh, what we're doing, when we're doing it. But it also is a bit of a code for those who are in the know. So right. my mom says, don't let too many people know or they're gonna know my passwords, you know, when she oh. writes them on paperwork. <laughs> yeah, that, that does make sense. Um, all right, so let's go back up to uh, the, the actual um, numbers here and, and go over it. Uh, Tom, while, while you're on the call, I will just say that everything from um, uh, left to right through four is showing, and then five, six, seven, eight, nine is showing in the screen right now. So if there's anything that you would like to say about those numbers. Yes, sir. Yes, there is. Okay, cool. I'd like uh, anybody that's listening that could uh, have a piece of paper okay. uh, to write down uh, some numbers that we know uh with our old system in the new system okay and these are here's one number for example is 1492. now we know that's when discovered of uh, columbus supposedly discovered america right you disregard the fact that america vespucia vespucian discovered america <laughs> yeah <laughs> the indians already okay had america but 1492. okay Okay, and write it, uh, just write it in regular numbers someplace. Then write okay. 1776. 1776. There's another number. Okay, 1776. Okay. Okay, then you write down 2001. 2001. Well, when was 9-11? What is that? That's a... Uh, uh, 2000 and... 2001. That. Yeah. What was the month of what? 9-11 was what? September 11th. Of, of, uh, okay. of 2001. 9-11, 2001. Okay. Is that what it was? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Now write down uh, an important number that's a real, uh, a, a real re relationship in the universe, and that is the... Okay. The number for pi. Pi. Oh. That's uh, the ratio of a uh, circumference and the diameter of a circle. Okay. And here's that number. Okay. You ready? Yep. Three point one four one five. Nine two, uh, and then put a bunch of dots thereafter because it goes on and on for okay. forever. Okay. So is this our test? There's, no, it's just your your own t your own little exercise. Oh, okay. You know that uh, <laughs> you can start to see that it's pretty easy to write these things down. 
Yes. Uh, I may have left out some important factors, and, and I stick over this pretty fast. Yeah. Well, here, here's the thing that I I'm think, here to help. Yeah, I think the thing that's going to help everybody the most is as we go into uh, the year of the boogie board and 50 years celebration, you're going to see more and more of this universal language showing up on some products, uh, on various different uh, merchandise and stuff like that. So if you, if you were here today, or if you were listening to this later, you are on actually a historical call because this stuff is moving forward now. And as many of you know, Tom is a futurist. He likes to work in the future, likes to see things in the future. And so this is something that you're going to see in the future. And thank you all for joining us. Let's get back to our numbering system now. Okay, so you did you want us to write out of what what a fourteen ninety two looks like? Is that what you'd like us to do? Well, they could you could do that if you want. If okay. you have any uh, problems with it, uh, any comments would be appreciated. Okay, I've got one right off the gate. All right, okay. so I I see the uh, ten, you know, one through ten. So when I write okay. fourteen ninety two, do I write fourteen? which would be, you know, the 10 and the four or the one and the four and then nine, two, or is there a number for, you know, 1,000, 400? You write, you write one, four, nine, two. Okay. So you just write it as, as one of these symbols. There's not like a thousand symbol or anything like that. Somebody's showing me something here. Let's see what we got. It's Steve. Well, I, I, I can tell you this, there's the symbol for 10, of course, is a one, in the first column, uh, and a zero, a nothing, not a, not a rind, not, an upside down curve, one and nothing. Right. It's ten. Okay. And and it lays in two two columns. And if you're going to write a hundred, you have a one followed by two upside down curves, two emptiness, two empty containers. Okay, two empty containers. Okay, that's a hundred. And you got to write a thousand as a one with three of these upside down curves. Got it. Okay. And if you're going to write 10 million, you're going to have a lot of upside down curves. Right. And what you, what you end up doing is you just hook them together so they go. Oh, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, a little bump, 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 bump. Okay, got that. All right. I and hope you, can every... put, you can put commas in there between every three of them like you do. Uh huh. Okay. 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 All right, so I hope those of you that are with us are understanding this. And if you're not, you can go back to the beginning. We're keeping it short, so it'll be a nice little uh, historical moment with Tom. We definitely want to have more of these in the future because there's a lot of what? there's a lot in that man's head that we want to uh, you know get into. So. Distract, you know, make it painless. That's right. This is great. All right, Steve's showing up something else. He's showing us his his homework here. Hold on a second. Let's see what Steve's got. All right, so Steve, could you bring it closer to the camera? Can you bring it up closer to the camera? Yeah, because we, I don't, I can barely see it, but I'm sure in the video uh, we'll be able to see it better. There we go. Okay, so Steve's done a good job there. Uh, we'll, we'll correct your test later. Steve's written down all those numbers, Tom, that you have. <laughs> <laughs> He's got it. He's oh, got it. Good. Look at, He's laughing. Yay. Good. Good. I'm trying to run the back office over here, so I wasn't able to do the test, but looks like Steve passed. You're an A student, Steve. You're good. <laughs> well, we're, um, what I'm often finding is uh, Thank you. when I'm trying to do something online, I can use the V, you know, as far as I might put a, a logo and then I want to put zero 01 or zero 03 uh, on, in normal sense. Uh -huh. Now I'm using zero. V for my two, but what we don't have are these um, other simple, we have the plus sign, but we don't have a zero and a plus, but I think we can make a, an app, a font app where yeah. you can uh, download your computer or what have you. So that if you go into that mode, you can use and sim put symbolism of this UNS system to your applications here in the future. We'll make that available. That's awesome. No, seriously. No. That is here's, awesome. here's a here's a really exciting part uh, for the commercial aspects is that every football player, jersey, soccer, baseball, 
hockey, every jersey with a number on it, could be printed this way with these symbols and better viewed. Because let's say I'm watching uh, the uh, Patriots and number 68 is running out for a pass. Well, I can't really tell if it's uh, number 68 because I can't really read those numbers out well. And if I'm upside down, if I'm out in space and there's a satellite nearby with a nine written on the old, with the old system, well, I really can't tell if it's a nine or a six. This happened to me. I went into a motel in a strange town and I had been given the key, key number nine. I went to the door and I tried it and it didn't work and a guy hollered at me from inside his hotel room. Hey, what are you doing up there? Well, it was the key number six or it was, was it? I forget what I'm saying here, but. No, but Tom, how many times nine? have most of the people yeah. that are on the call, you know, mistook a six for a nine in our number, numeral system? I can think right. everybody could say yes to that. So yeah, go ahead. Right. Or even a five because it's it all looks very similar. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So the idea is to be able to use these numbers casually with uh, because you don't always have accuracy and you'll hear it in your own voice in your own communications. Somebody says something and you say what? Yeah. Oh well, I did. I thought I said bed. I thought you said fed. Yeah. All this kind of stuff. Yeah, we should have. And isn't no that the idea? In our language, we should have no problems. That's no, the idea. They have better communication. No better communication. Not that we're going to solve them now, but my minister in the old in the church, my congregational church minister, told me, "Boys, it's better better to light one candle than curse the darkness." Ooh. Well, and can... that is so apt that uh, we have a lot of ways to be critical and we have uh, so few ways to get things right. So we we work on trying to get things better and not 100% better if you can't do that. But if you can get a little better, well, you do that. And little by little, we work the problems and and come out of the gloom that we've been plunging into recently. Yes. Well, I don't know. I don't want to stay on too well, long. Well, no, you're, you're absolutely Boy. perfect time. Uh, you know, I was trying to keep this right around uh, 30 minutes so people can look at it later. Uh, once again, it, it's going to go up and, you know, to the platforms where we can save it, you know, and put it in uh, the history books. So mm -hmm. I want to thank you, of course, Tom, for always sharing some of your knowledge with us and your son or your number one son i call him boogie son soul boy here with us uh, launching some universally numbered products this year uh, really excited to hear about that and <laughs> and also steve jackson who told me earlier that he wouldn't miss this historical moment for the world so thank you steve Whoa. for coming in and it is uh, it is very historical and you I have a sense of, you have a great sense patty of of uh, drama and history and reality. And, uh, <laughs> well, you, do. you really do. Well, thank you, Tom. Uh, so Dad. You your friendship all these years, and we hope to continue. Yeah, we're going to have some fun this year because this is the year of the boogie, and uh, we're going to boogie, and we're also going to uh, share that knowledge of Tom's. I told him that probably the most valuable thing that he's got right now is the the, the, the ability to call in like this and talk to us. And uh, once in a while, we'll get them up on video. But I want to thank all of you. The numbers probably were one of the best numbers I've seen on video. And I know we're going to have a lot of people later watching this. So like I said, I want to keep it right at about 30 minutes. We're about 45 seconds away from saying goodbye. So Tom, goodbye to you for today. Adios for the moment. Bye -bye. Adios. Steve, thank you once again so much. And so thank Another you. Guess. And we'll see you all Another and guess. talk to you. Be sure and go over to boogie50years.com and sign up be a part of the celebration for this year and we'll see and talk to you on our very next episode bye bye